Welcome one more time to the World Channel 305. What a pleasure it is for me to be here on the day today. We bring greetings from the World Channel 345 family to all our uh, our technical team, you know, those of us uh, who have been behind the scenes. We give God thanks and we all want to say it's a pleasure serving you, hallelujah, as your online minister. We thank God for this channel. We bless the Lord for your support and we pray that you will continue to pray for us and to you know ask the lord to give us vision and to give us our enlarged borders in jesus name we thank you so much for being here with us we appreciate all your prayers and your support god bless you we're going to go right into the word of course my name is reverend lennox Hayden. if you don't know me hallelujah we are now being uh, introduced and so i want to give god thanks for you but we want to go right into prayer before we go any further let us pray what a privilege it is to carry everything to our God in prayer. Mighty God and everlasting Father, the great I am, the all-sufficient one, the omnipotent one, the omnipresent one. Oh, hallelujah. We glorify you and we exalt you for who you are. We thank you, God, for this opportunity, oh God Almighty, to bring a blessing to someone's heart. Today. We pray that, mighty God, that as we go into the word, that Lord God Almighty, the word will come alive in our heart today, in our ministry today, in our family today, God, that your name will be exalted, that someone, God Almighty, will reach out and give you praise and honor. And we thank you right now for the word in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. And before I go into anything else, I want to say continue to send the link out to someone. There is someone out there who needs a blessing. And guess what? You are that conduit that God is going to use to bring a blessing to that individual. So we want to go, my brothers and sisters, right into the word. And I pray that the blessings of the Lord will be upon this word and in your hearts today. We want to look at a passage of scripture uh, taken from the book of John. John chapter 9 and the verse 1 through to 3. And it declares, And Jesus passed by. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents? that he was born blind jesus answered neither hath this man sinned nor his parents but that the works of god should be made manifest in him i don't know about you my brothers and sisters i want to read this one from another version it says uh, and i'm going to be uh, targeting the verse three neither this man nor his parents sinned said jesus but this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. I don't know who this message is for today, but I know that whatever you are going through today, oh glory to God, that whatever you are facing, whatever challenges that you have seen, whatever things that have been risen up in your life, I want to tell you that this is not about you, but it's about the God that you serve. It's about the God that you have made a pledge to it's about where you are headed not where you are right now glory to god hallelujah i don't want to start off too hard but i want to tell somebody that the presence of the lord is in this place and i know hallelujah that someone is going to be delivered from this word and so we want to look at this word it's a simple word it is simply why me let me say it again, why me? And when I look at this, my brothers and sisters, I can tell you that many times we ask the question, why me? If we get a punctured tire, we ask, why me? If something happens in our lives, we ask, why me? If we get ill, we ask, why me? If, 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 if we very have a temperature, we ask, why me? This is, brothers and sisters, a question that we often ask. And most times, this question is asked when we face an unexpected, or unwelcome situation that makes us feel like a target i know that there's some of us that think that we are always a target whether we are at work we are a target in the church we are a target we always feel as if we are walking with a bullseye on our forehead a bullseye on our back and so my brothers and sisters it is so important for us to understand oh glory to god like just like john chapter 9 oh glory to god hallelujah you see we are 
looking for some form of theological explanation to the things that we are going through. We are trying to say it must be something why I'm going through this. Oh, glory to God. Sometimes even when people come to us and they try to give us some explanation, it does not bring any comfort. It does not bring any hospitable room to us. Oh, glory to God. It does not cause us, my brothers and sisters, to feel any better. Oh, glory to God. Sometimes we have family members and our family members pass away. They weren't sick, but they died tragically. We ask, Lord, why my family? Oh, glory to God Almighty. And so somebody might come with a theological explanation and it does not bring any comfort because that's not what we're looking for. It does not bring any comfort in the hospital room when you're laying on your hospital bed and someone comes and says, well, my friend, this is how life goes. That does not bring any comfort to us. Oh, glory to God. So we ask the question, why me? Somebody say, why me? I know somebody's out there asking God, why me? Maybe you're on your hospital bed. Maybe you're in a corner. Maybe your back is against the wall. Maybe all your friends have turned against you. Maybe family have turned against you. You're asking the question, why me? Well, my brothers and sisters, I can tell you, oh, glory to God, that this young man, hallelujah, was born blind and I'm sure that he has never seen before and when the disciples saw him they asked Jesus the question Lord who hath sinned oh glory to God but my brothers and sisters they were expecting Jesus to give them an explanation you see hallelujah when you are going through you're going through sometimes we are looking for theory sometimes we are looking for hallelujah some individuals to come and explain what we are going through but glory be to God just like this man in hallelujah John chapter 9 oh hallelujah there was so much speculation I want to talk to somebody about speculation there are so many individuals that want to speculate about why you're going through what you are going through but can I tell you my brothers and sisters can I tell you a friend can I tell you somebody out there that is listening to my voice your question why me hallelujah comes back right into our Bible where the Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord deliver them out of them all somebody you're asking the question why me well I'm telling you today hallelujah you don't need to ask that question anymore hallelujah you should ask God why not me what are you talking about preacher what are you getting at well I can tell you my friends oh glory to God there are certain things that happens to a person who goes through these types of trials oh glory to god almighty can you remember oh hallelujah young lady by the name of Anna, oh hallelujah, and Penina, my God Almighty, the Bible says that this woman, oh hallelujah, had a other father, hallelujah, had another person in her life who used to tease her oh glory to God the Bible says that Anna oh hallelujah cried to God as a matter of fact the Bible says that when they saw Hannah crying men used to say to her hallelujah the priest said oh hallelujah but look at this woman at this time of the day this woman is drunken with wine oh glory to God sometimes my friends when our sorrows come upon us oh glory to God we can't even ask the question why me but we have tears that run down our face we cry and we weep oh glory to God sometimes we do not have words to express how we are feeling so sometimes we cry but I thank God that tears is a language that our God understands the Bible says that as Hannah cried unto the Lord oh glory to God Almighty oh hallelujah and the, the other person who was teasing her laughing at her saying look at you look at you you say you're worshiping God I'm talking to somebody out there. You might be asking God, why me? When you look over and see the neighbor and you see the neighbor prospering, you say, God, so how come the neighbor is prospering? Well, I can tell you that trials don't come to hallelujah kill us. It comes to make us stronger. Oh, hallelujah, somebody says, but you don't know or you don't see how they could. But God is working out 
all things together for your good somebody cry out oh hallelujah lord why me well today god has sent me here to tell you why you it's because god can trust you with your trials oh hallelujah remember the bible says oh glory to god that he will put no more on us than we can bear some of us oh glory to god if god knew oh hallelujah if you knew what god had in store for you you would not be asking why me you would have possibly asking lord why didn't you do this sooner what am i saying how do i sound this way well i can tell you, my friends that i have seen it before i have experienced it before hallelujah whereby i could not understand what god was doing in isaiah chapter 55 and the verse 8 through to 9 it says lord says the lord says my thoughts are not like your thoughts my ways are not like your ways just as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts so you're asking god why but god is saying to you you don't know my thoughts you don't know my ways the bible says man that the just shall live by faith alone i'm talking to somebody out there you ask the question why me you look at your suffering you look at the situation and you're saying man how can god allow this to happen to me well our trials hallelujah come to help us to be hallelujah more dependent on god we are not independent of the God that we serve. We are dependent on him. So therefore, when, when we look at his ways, we are going to say to ourselves, despite the fact that I don't understand, despite the fact that I cannot see my way out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my trust in God. Somebody cry out, oh, hallelujah, why me? But now I'm finding out why me. In Jeremiah chapter 33 and the verse 3, Judah said, Pray to me and I will answer you and I will tell you an important secret you have never heard before. I believe that God has sent me here to tell you a secret you never know before. He has a plan. Oh, hallelujah for you. Man has not seen it. The Bible says ears have not seen. Nor have a, oh, hallelujah eyes have not seen nor have ears heard nor has the thought come to the mind of any man the plans that God has in store for you so you don't need to ask God why me what you are asking God is Lord thank you oh glory to God because you see my friends when hallelujah these trials come it is here to sanctify you what am I talking about you can say preacher this thing sound deadly yes it is because God has sent me here to talk to somebody somebody who's going through their worst of worse why me lord you have been crying your pillow has become wet people are saying to you stop crying man but my god almighty god is hearing you god has heard you he has seen your tears hallelujah oh hallelujah paul says in romans chapter hallelujah 8 and the verse 35 to the 37 can anything separate us from the love of christ oh hallelujah you're asking god why me it's because god loves you the bible says who he loveth my god almighty he chasteneth and therefore when god chastens you oh glory to god the road can never be easy it can never be smooth it does not feel right it is not comfortable oh hallelujah he makes hallelujah way oh hallelujah in the desert oh for the children of israel my god can you imagine the bible says that the children of israel was the apple of god's eye yet still my brothers and sisters yet still my friend they did not ask god why us but hallelujah as they were in egypt's bondage the bible says that glory to god that the death angel came in and god says to them prepare yourself for a journey eat hallelujah set yourself up because tomorrow this time hallelujah the egyptians that you see today you will see them no more i am talking to somebody out there oh hallelujah you have been under the bondage of egyptians oh glory to god but god has sent me here today to tell you that the egyptians that you see today you will see them no more they're gonna go one by one. Oh, glory to God and you're gonna say hallelujah God when I was asking the question why me I was in the backside of the desert 
I was being prepared for a journey. Oh, glory to God and evil so Sometimes as you leave out of your Egyptian bondage, your enemies are going to travel and they're going to try to follow you. They're going to come after you. But thanks be to God, the Bible says he will not leave us nor forsake us. Can somebody cry out, Lord, oh, hallelujah, why me? Well, why me is being answered today. It says that can troubles or problems or suffering or hunger or nakedness or danger or violent death separate us from the love of God. Oh, hallelujah. So you can ask why me all you want. Well, the answer is here for you today as it is written in the scriptures for you are in danger of death at all times. People think that we were worth no more than sheep to be killed. But in all things, we have full victory. Oh, hallelujah. Through Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. God that shows his love for us. So my God Almighty, you see, when God shows his love for us, it might look like, hallelujah, you're in danger. It might look like he has deserted you. It might look like my brothers and sisters, he has placed you, hallelujah, upon the altar for sacrifice but God is setting you up for a blessing just like the young man in John chapter 9 he was being set up for a blessing because the Bible says oh glory to God can I go back to it it says hallelujah in that it, it says neither his this man has sinned let us pause there oh glory to God you see what happened is when you are going through your trials and you ask God why me oh hallelujah it's as if you are saying to God Lord have I sinned but many Many times, my friends, it is not about sin. It is about the glory of God that needs to be seen in your life. Sometimes God wants to prove that he is your deliverer. Sometimes God wants to prove that he's your defender. Sometimes God wants to prove that he is your lawyer. Sometimes he wants to prove that he's your vindicator. Why me? Well, the answer is here for you today. This preacher is here to tell you that despite the fact that you have asked God, why me? Because of his love that, oh hallelujah, that supersedes every sin. Because of his love that supersedes, hallelujah, every problem. Because of his love that supersedes all of our sins and our griefs. That is the reason why you're going through what you're going through. Because God must be glorified in your life. Sometimes you ask God, Lord, why do I have so many enemies? Why does some people hate me so much? Why is it that they are fighting against me? Well, I am here to tell you that they do not really know that they're not fighting against you, but they are fighting against the God, hallelujah, that saved you from the clutches of death. They are fighting against the God that has proven himself over and over. Oh, glory to God. Romans 8 and verse 31 says, So what shall we say about this if God is with me? Oh, hallelujah. So when you ask the question why, the same why that you're asking, asking is that God is with you so despite the fact that you are thinking that you're alone you are not alone my favorite little thing even when I was growing up was going into the homes of very very different individuals and on some time you look on some plaques in the homes you will see these little plaques one of the greatest ones that I love to see is the one that declares oh glory to God that one set of footprints in the sun oh hallelujah remember we're talking about why me so sometime in this life's journey you will look in your footprints and you will recognize that there are only ones that have footprints and you begin to complain and you begin to argue you begin to look at other individuals and you're saying to yourself look at this they have so many friends they can call John and they can call Tom and they can call Dick and they can call Harry I have no one with me but the songwriter says for I have my love Lord beside me to guide me all the way I feel his presence near me every day so though troubles overtake me along life's weary road you're asking the question why it's because you have the Lord beside you why because God hallelujah has a special plan for your life your life was not made to warm benches your life was not made hallelujah for you to be a spectator your life was made hallelujah Oh, glory to God. 
that God may bring glory to his name through your life and through your living. The psalmist said, if my life is not worth living and my hope is sinking fast, if my feet has been crushed under the rubble and the Bible said, take a glimpse into my future, I will step away from my past. He will give my life new meaning and he will rescue me at last. Oh, hallelujah, somebody, you need to go to the potter's house. My God Almighty, and recognize that despite the fact that you have all broken pieces, you have nothing good to offer God. Oh, hallelujah, but just brokenness and strife. God is going to do something beautiful with your life and in your life because it must bring glory to him. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Psalm 34 and the verse 19 says, people, who do what is right may have many problems oh hallelujah what am i saying to you oh glory to god this is sometimes you do hallelujah let me not say sometimes but rather most of the times you do the right thing you follow the lord you do everything that is right but oh glory to god you still have problems you still have circumstances you still have situations you still get sick and you're wondering how is it possible that a man hallelujah a woman who serves God all their life and live a right life they're still having problems you say Lord why me why me God but in Psalm 34 and the verse 19 our brother David cry out to God he says people who do what is right may have hallelujah have many problems oh hallelujah but the Lord will solve them not only solve them but I want to read it for you the Bible says he will solve them a l L. He will solve them all. Why me, Lord? Because, hallelujah, God wants to bring glory, hallelujah, to his name. He wants to use it as a witness, oh, glory to God, of his majesty and his glory. Oh, glory to God. You see, my friends, God will respond to us with his outstretched arms. My God, when we cry out to him, so our troubles and our trials come because God wants us to cry out to him. God wants others to recognize that people can cry out to him God is using us as a vessel of honor to show some individuals that I have my eyes upon that sparrow oh hallelujah my eyes watch over them most of us oh glory to God only know God hallelujah know about God but what God wants is for us to know him oh hallelujah so we know about him but God wants us to know him he wants us to know him as our deliverer he wants to know him as our redeemer he wants us to know him as the one that took every stripe upon his back for our sins oh why me God because hallelujah God wants to glorify himself through your life yes my friend why me is a great and big question it is a real big deal in the world it is a time when uncertainty comes upon us especially when hallelujah our outcomes are not certain when we cannot humanly see how God is going Going to do this for us oh hallelujah but hallelujah sometimes we think that we are outside of the favor of God and we cry Lord why me oh somebody is thinking yes pa pastor yes preacher why me I've been asking God why me but today you need to solve that problem you need to solve that question you need to have an answer to that question why me Lord it's because God can trust you with the little things and he can trust you with the big things as a matter of fact God is preparing to put you up the ladder but he has to be able to trust you with the little trials in order to put you on the big trials because just like brother Job oh I feel the presence of God just like brother Job I believe my brothers and sisters that as brother Job got hallelujah his portion of troubles and trials I am positive that many of us would not be able to handle what Job handled but the Bible says that when Job was under his pressure the Bible says my God Almighty hallelujah Job said the Lord giveth and the Lord take it away I feel sometimes 
hallelujah that some of us don't recognize that God the creator is the one who gave us what we have and he is able to guess what to take it away he's able to also give hallelujah oh glory to God our greatest enemy who is Lucifer Satan the fallen angel hallelujah he will give him the authority oh my God I'm to take away some things from us I am asking you today are you asking God the question why me well let me say it hallelujah the Lord give and the Lord take it away sometimes my friends the things that God takes from us oh glory to God is because God recognize that down the road we are gonna lose our one and only soul because of some of these things that you might say preacher you sound a little bit mixed up I am not mixed up what I am saying is is that the God that we serve knows what's best for us we might think that we know what's best for ourselves but God himself knows what best what is best for us oh hallelujah hebrews 10 and the verse 23 it says let us hold firmly to the hope that we have confessed because we can trust God to do what he promised my God can I talk to somebody about the promises of God you see when hallelujah we ask the question why me we are we are contesting the promises of God because you see what God does most of the time he does not show us the road that we have to take he will show us the end oh hallelujah of our journey but he will not show us the road that we have to take therefore we have to put our trust and and our full trust and our full confidence in the God of our salvation hallelujah oh glory to God Psalm 138 and the verse it says Lord you do everything for me Lord you love me continuously and forever do not leave me oh hallelujah who you have made so sometimes my friends when we are not certain about what God is doing we start to question why me oh hallelujah last but not least Isaiah 41 and the verse 10 it says so don't worry because I am with you oh hallelujah glory to God that so some of us might be there and we are saying God where are you why me but God says hallelujah in Isaiah don't be afraid don't worry because I am your God I will make you strong oh glory to God sometimes my friends we have to put down the why me and say why not me oh glory to God somebody you have to put down the why me and say why not me why not this time because God knows what's best you see my friends when we let go of hallelujah our holy our intelligence and we we depend on faith we will depend if faith believing what God is doing in our life is what needs to be done in our lives my God I feel the presence of God and I feel that somebody's getting it stop asking why me man ask God why not me ask God why not why is what what season am I in you see sometimes when we are in a season we are just at the brink of our breakthrough and we begin to question God we begin to ask God questions and so hallelujah we delay our deliverance my God I hope somebody's getting it why me we must cross that out and say why not me somebody shout why not me Lord you see when one of the times I remember hallelujah when I was just hallelujah getting into the scriptures and I remember that they used to sing some songs in church take away my joy and give me sadness I will trade in yes I will trade in my my joy for sorrow and all of these things but when hallelujah the troubles and the trials come we want to step back but we don't recognize that hallelujah in order to be elevated we have to trust God we have to depend on him when we are facing our trials I'm gonna just give you the three more points and then I close trials put God in the put God power on display so when we are facing our trials oh glory to God we cannot ask why me because God's power is being displayed when God allows us hallelujah to step into some trials because remember he's the only one that can give the permission whether the enemy wants to believe it or not it takes God to give that permission it's hallelujah declares my brothers and sisters where we should remember Gideon you see my brothers and sisters Gideon started off 
of hallelujah with an army of one fifth the size of the Midianites I'm talking to somebody when you ask God why me you are messing up God's plan and then God made the odds even worse the Lord said to Gideon the people with you are too many you see sometimes my friends when God allows some of our friends to just take leave oh glory to God and we are on our journey and we are saying we have no friends I am talking to somebody who's crying out why me why did this friend leave me why did this friendship break up but God is saying you have you have too many people with you I want you to listen to me because you're listening to others am I talking to somebody they stop saying why me and say why not me and so God said to, to Gideon there are too many with you but Gideon looked and said but Lord the Midianites hallelujah are at hand unless hallelujah I have all of these then we will lose the war but God wanted hallelujah Gideon to trust him you see my brothers and sisters when you ask why me oh glory to God the power of God is not displayed what in this Lord okay Lord let me have this you can have this victory the next thing is hallelujah the why means hallelujah does not prepare us for service because hallelujah even though we are facing our trials we have to rely on God you see as a believer when bad news comes we need to do one thing oh glory to God some we need to say to God Lord what do you want me to learn from this my God I pray that you understand that we are living in a university we are living in a life college and so hallelujah when God places us in a trial he wants to display his power he wants to prepare us for service oh glory to God you see my friends oh hallelujah the Bible says greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world so therefore we have to rely on the fact that whosoever dwells within us is greater than he that is in the world hallelujah you must understand also that if we don't have have trials my God Almighty then we don't know a deliverer oh hallelujah so we can prove our deliverer when we have our trials the next thing is trials make us depend on God when we have trials and we recognize that we are surrounded by from the left and we are surrounded by the right and we are surrounded by the enemies coming from behind oh hallelujah the Bible says I will look up unto the hills from whence cometh my help I cannot look to the phone call. I cannot look to the hallelujah uh, the visit from someone. I have to look to the hills from whence cometh my help. For my help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and the earth. God uses trials to turn our hallelujah to turn our dependency fully on him he wants us to cling to him and he wants us to find peace in him alone the greatest battle my friends that is rage each day is hallelujah going to bring glory to God once we are surrounded by his presence our sinful hearts cannot see God in that way but my friends I can tell you once we relinquish hallelujah the control of the things that surround us and hallelujah the remedies and relinquish it to God we will have the victory remember the Bible says for the battle belongs to the Lord and that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty to the pulling on our stronghold through the spirit therefore stop asking why me and say Lord why not me oh hallelujah the next thing is hallelujah oh hallelujah our suffering might seem unfair hallelujah it kidnaps our attention and it tries to cause us to focus and to look at our pain but I want to tell you my friends despite the fact that you are feeling pain despite the fact that you feel like your back is against the wall the Bible says that the hallelujah the devil is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour do not let him devour you by asking why me but declare why not me Lord at this time oh hallelujah see suffering my friends hallelujah cannot hallelujah be defined as only hallelujah losing things but hallelujah it depends my brothers and sisters on us living by faith I want to encourage someone today oh glory to God hallelujah from this four this couple of points as I come to a close Moses asks why hallelujah have you dealt with me 
heal your servant in numbers chapter 11 verse 11 david asked oh lord why do you stand far off why do you hide yourself in my times of trouble habakkuk asks why do you make me look hallelujah at the injustice why do you tolerate the wrongdoings in habakkuk 1 verse 3 job asks why have you made me a target in job 7 and verse 20 the disciples asked why this man was born blind in hallelujah john 9 and the verse hallelujah 2 but what i love about this my friends oh hallelujah is that in verse 3 jesus answered the question jesus is answering your question today he's saying to them hallelujah neither this man has sin oh hallelujah nor his parents oh glory to god some people might be looking at you just like job's friend looked at him and said you must have seen why these things are going on in your life it must be something wrong but my friends i can tell you oh glory to god that god is preparing you oh hallelujah to come out of your fiery furnace he's preparing you to come out of the belly of the whale he's preparing you to come out hallelujah oh my god out of your burning bush situation he's preparing hallelujah the blessings for you it says hallelujah at the end of it the conclusion of the matter today oh glory to god is that he says but that the works of god should be made manifest in him what god is saying oh glory to god why you is because he wants to manifest his works in your life that means that god can trust you oh glory to god with these trials because my friend it's going to bring glory to him it's going to bring victory to you and your enemies will see and you'll become a witness oh glory to god of the delivering power of god finally oh glory to god jesus said on the cross my god my god listen to the question why hast thou forsaken me but my brothers and sisters in the long run look at what jesus said not my will but thine be done can i finish off with that today to say to you do not bother to ask why me anymore do not question what is happening in your life but lord just say my friends just say lord not my will but thine will be done because jesus had a purpose oh glory to god and he knew that he had to die for the sins of men therefore he declared even though he asked lord why hallelujah have you forsaken me the conclusion of the matter was not my will but thine be done therefore my friends i leave you with this one thing today ask the lord oh hallelujah to say change your vernacular change your statement stop asking why me and declare not my will but thine will be done because the victory belongs to jesus the victory belongs to the lord my god what a word on the word channel three four five change your statement man change it from why me lord and declare why not me and like thy will be done in my life today glory to god in every case that we have read in our bible my brothers and sisters god either answered the question directly reminding each individual that he was in control and therefore every person who asked the question later recognized in their own way what god was able to do what god is able to do and how god's working hallelujah in their suffering and their struggles that god had a bigger plan hallelujah in place for them therefore his plan isn't always what is what we what we have in our hearts or what we want in our hearts but we want to understand right now my friends why this is happening well we want the reason for it we want to know that what was good what will good will come out of it but the scriptures continually remind us that the god that we serve is the god hallelujah that never changed and so my friends his plans for us hallelujah are sometimes things that we cannot see because we do not walk by sight but we walk by faith what a word on the word channel three four five today my friends hallelujah god is saying to you today not your will but my will be done hallelujah 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 i pray right now father oh glory to god that someone today god will recognize that they have been asking the question why me 
Oh, hallelujah. But Lord, you want them to see and recognize, Lord, that you are in control. It might seem as if God Almighty, you're not doing anything. But just like the writer says, even when I don't feel you, you're working. Even when I don't see you, you're working. Even when I can't hear you, you're working. Because God, you're a God, hallelujah, of your promises. And your promises is that, Lord, you will deliver us out of all our troubles. If you delivered God Almighty, the children of Israel, if you delivered Moses, if you delivered Habakkuk, if you delivered, hallelujah, Abraham, if you delivered, ha delivered Hannah, then God Almighty, you can deliver us. And so God Almighty, we pray right now, God, that as we turn around our vernacular, as we turn around the things that we say, as we continue to stop saying now, God, why me? But to say, Lord, not my will, but thine will be done. Lord, you will bring glory to your name through our lives. You will help us to become God Almighty, living witnesses of what God can do. Lord, our our brother Paul oh glory to God so many so many testimonies of what you can do and so Lord we just want to bask in your glory we just want to bask in your victory we just want to say Lord take full control of our lives and God let your name be exalted among the heathen through the life that we live that God Almighty your glory must be seen God and we'll become a living witness of what God can do with a life that is surrendered to him oh hallelujah just like Jesus said on the cross hallelujah not to my will but thine will be done father we thank you and we praise you for all your blessings in jesus mighty name and so my brothers and sisters i want to say to you thank you so much hallelujah for coming on to the world channel 345 we do hope and trust that you have enjoyed the message and if you have hallelujah your simple testimony is to send the link out to someone else share it with someone else let someone else know my brothers and sisters that why me must be hallelujah x out of our lives hallelujah x out of our vernacular x out of our speech and say lord let thy will be done because god has a greater plan for you hallelujah in jesus name god bless you and take care of yourself until next time same place right here on the word 345 channel god bless you